Coach Chris commentary. My topic, Coach Chris championship resume. Wow. Like I said, going, I was going through all my paperwork and all my awards and trophies. And and I found out something that I really wasn't thinking about it like that. But when I look at uh, what I've been doing for the last 16 years, uh, coaching 12 youth football, uh, I found out a a stat that just blew my mind about an hour ago. The stat is I've been involved coaching 10 championship games I've been involved in. And looking at the 10 championship games that I've been involved in, involved with I won all 10 of them <laughs> wow wow so you know when you put when you put your heart and soul into something and you get your kids your uh, football team to buy into what you are doing or, or what you're presenting to them the offense and all that good things come to those who wait, and like I said, you know, started coaching in 2004, and you got to think about it. Uh, you know, when I first started off, you know, um, I had to get the feeling of coaching. I got to get the feeling of the players, and then once I got, you know, to where I was comfortable doing what I was doing, everything started clicking in, and uh, just think about 10 championship games. And you are blessed enough to win all 10 of them? How many youth coaches can say that? How many OCs, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm an OC with a head coach mindset. Uh, you know, I'm a head coach. Um, you know, that's what I am. You know, I can't. I can't help what beads on a piece of paper, but I'm an OC with a head coach mindset. I'm always, um, my mindset is, you know, um, I'm looking at a game as a head coach. That's what I look at a game as. I manage a game as a head coach. You know what I'm saying? I look at different situations. So, but at the same time, you know, like I said, I put, I put everything I got into what I do, uh, designing the plays. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know, you know, I'm not just saying, okay, I'm just putting some plays out there and see that they work. Uh-uh. I don't put plays out there to see that they work. I put plays out there because I know they work. And that's why, you know, I've been so successful because it's hard to stop what you don't know what's coming. And with this offense that I design, um, you know, my job is to keep the defense je- keep the defense guessing. That's my job. You know what I'm saying? I know some defensive coordinators go crazy trying to figure out what I'm doing. Even people on my um people on the same staff I'm on, they try to figure out what I'm running. You know, no disrespect to nobody, but it's not for them to understand because if they defense, I don't want you understanding what I'm doing because your defense. Never know. Down the line, we might have to play each other and then scrimmage yourself. I don't want you to know what I'm doing. Then you try to shit me down. That's another story we'll talk about another time. But, um, you know, just it feels good to, you know, when I saw that stat, like, damn, um, I've been doing this for 16 years, and I've been in 10 championship games and was blessed enough to win all 10 of them, 10 championships and 10 tries. God Almighty, man! It, it's it, it, like I said, it feel good for me, and if and if it feel especially good for the kids because they the one got to run the plays. I design them; they run them. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, when the kids have fun with something like this offense that I um, design, they have fun with this offense, and. You know, they be asking me, Coach Chris, let's run this play. Coach Chris, let's run this play. Coach Chris, I think this play will here work against this defense. And that's when they are having fun with the offense. When you can see that, you know, 
They they want to run certain plays against certain offense. It's getting fun to them. They starting to see stuff that I see now. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I can say, man, it's a blessing. Um, uh, like I said, people know that every uh, thing that I do uh, in football, my mom is involved. So every time um, uh, my football team scores, I point up to her and let her know that you know, one for you, I wouldn't be doing this because I wouldn't be here. You had to be here for me to be here to be doing what I do. And, you know, I love her. She know that, uh, you know, I know if she was here, she'd be proud of me for doing what I do with the kids, uh, winning uh, championships. And, um, you know, and I know people, um, I have heard a coach say winning is not everything. And. I I slightly disagree with that because in this program and with me, I can't speak for everybody else, but for me, I not only coach the kids about football, I coach the kids about life, stuff that I've been through, stuff that I don't want them to go through. So, you know, I want them, you know, if you're talking about when it's not everything about a football game or it's not, you know, I want them to win in life. I want them, I want to put them in position to win. Now, I'm not saying you're going to win every game. I'm not saying that, but I want them to put them in position where they can win every football game that they step on that field. That's my job to get them motivated to do. And like I said, with this offense uh, that I designed and and like I said, it, it gets better and better by the year to me because I see different things and I tweak my offense and uh, I take out some and put in some and that uh, offense will be more special the next time you see it. And, um, you know, and then with that being said, um, we got a invite to a uh, tournament in Atlanta and they want us to come up there and play. And if everything goes well and we do like we've been doing, I'll probably be coming up here talking about uh, our 11th championship. So we'll see. This is Coach Chris Commentary. I'm out.